How do we make nitric acid? Well, nitric acid is made by first making nitric oxide. So you first make nitric oxide, which is nitrogen in oxidation state plus two. So we're not quite there. We then need to oxidize our nitric oxide to give us nitrogen dioxide, which has nitrogen oxidation state plus four. We then do nitrogen dioxide plus water goes to nitric acid and nitric oxide. So what sort of a reaction is this? Exactly, this is a disproportionation reaction. So we've seen a comproportionation reaction. This is a disproportionation reaction where you start in one oxidation state and you form two new oxidation states. And this can be dehydrated, at least formally, you can remove a molecule of water from nitric acid and what happens is you then make N2O5. N2O5 is the anhydride, or anhydride of nitric acid which can be hydrated to give you both back nitric acid. In practice this is not how you would make dinitrogen pentoxide. You wouldn't make it by dehydrating nitric acid. In the solid form N2O5 is ionic. It doesn't have this Lewis structure that we have, what we put down here. In the solid form, what you actually have present are NO2 plus cations and NO3 minus or nitrate <coughs> anions. So in the solid state, this compound is actually an ionic compound and it is thermodynamically unstable and may explode. So I wouldn't ever try not that it'll get you very far, but don't ever try dehydrating. And all of these hydrating uh, anhydrides are examples of this general principle, which we'll see lots more examples of, is if you have a metal or non-metal oxide and you hydrate it, then you form a bronsted acid. Nitric acid is a very strong bronsted acid, has a pKa of minus 1.4, and we'll talk a little bit later in the course about what that really means. Concentrated nitric acid is strongly oxidizing. So much of the chemistry associated with nitric acid is not just that nitric acid is a very concentrated acid. Because all that does is give you very high concentrations of H+. And there's only so much chemistry you can do with high concentrations of H+. A lot of the chemistry associated with nitric acid is not about the fact that it's a strong acid, but it's about the fact that it is a strong oxidizing agent. And it's oxid we, we all know that H plus is an oxidizing agent, but it only oxidize things with relatively low reduction potentials, reduction potentials lower than zero. Nitric acid has a, um, a redox couple in it with a reduction potential much higher than zero, as we'll see in a moment. Nitric acid you have to be very, very careful with. It will violently oxidize organic substrates, so it is not a good idea. Now concentrated nitric acid is actually a 70 weight percent solution in water. So the concentrated nitric acid that you have in the laboratory is not neat nitric acid, it has some water in it. And of course it's one of those concentrated acids that when you add it to water it's a very exothermic process. So you must always do it in that order, you must always add the nitric acid to the water and not the other way round because that can be very hairy. It shouldn't be yellow, okay? Nitric acid should not be yellow. It's only yellow once it starts decomposing or somebody's contaminated it with something that it is, it's then oxidized. So it shouldn't be yellow, and it's kept in these brown bottles to protect it from photochemical degradation. So if you expose it to light, then what happens is it actually decomposes. Fuming nitric acid you won't encounter in the teaching laboratory, it's unpleasant to know, it fumes because it contains actually excess nitrogen dioxide, which is a brown gas. So fuming nitric acid is brown and will give off vapours of NO2, but you don't have that in the teaching laboratory. Very, very difficult to separate from water, very difficult to separate entirely from water, can't really be done. If you have to have a pure sample of nitric acid which does not have any water in it, then the best way to do that is to take potassium nitrate or some other dry salt of a nitrate anion and add a stronger acid to it. Remember, stronger than pKa minus 1.4 is a pretty strong acid, but sulfuric acid is that acid, and you can protonate 
potassium nitrate using sulfuric acid to give you pure nitric acid.